This is Parkour. A few weeks ago, Boston Dynamics released this insane footage of Atlas doing parkour, and I needed to try something like that. Obviously, I don't have the resources to do that, or the knowledge, but I wanted to see if I could train this AI to jump over a couple of boxes. I've seen many videos with AIs learning to walk before, but I wanted to make it a little bit different for this video. So I'm gonna train this AI to be able to complete this obstacle course here. It took me 30 days to figure out how to make this shit work, but thanks to the part of editing and all my previous suffering, it's gonna be like 5 minutes to you. So without further ado, let's start with the video. Let me introduce you to this little agent here. It's a ragdoll that I made in Unity, and as you can clearly see, it doesn't do shit for now. I used a stickman because this video by Danny was really interesting to see, and using a stickman sounded like a cool approach for this project. Now you probably are wondering, how is he gonna learn how to solve this course? And the answer to that is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a method of machine learning in which you give the AI a reward every time it makes something good, and a punishment every time it makes something bad. With that said, we need to define three things to make this work. Observations, actions, and rewards. Observations are what the AI can see and feel. A ragdoll doesn't know anything about its environment, so I need to provide it with information. And the information I provide it with is the average velocity, the position of the agent, the rotation of the limbs, the angular velocity of the limbs, and a couple of rays that function as eyes for the robot to know where the next obstacle is. There are a couple of other features, but according to my statistics, you don't care about the code, so I'm just gonna go to the next part. Actions. That means what can the robot do? And in this case, is to move its limbs. And that's it. For the reward, I'm gonna give it a reward depending on how fast it's moving to the right, and punish it every time it moves to the left. And obviously, if it touches an obstacle or if it touches the ground with any other part than its feet, it's gonna die, and the episode is gonna reset. The only other thing left to define is the obstacle curse. I designed it with a long part without any obstacles because I hope that this would help the AI learn how to walk properly first and then learn how to jump over the obstacles. And now that everything is set up, I just need to write this command here and start the training. And as you can see, its first attempt is to move everything erratically, because it doesn't know anything else. But after 20 minutes, he finally learns that the best way to move forward is, well, to move forward. Wow! 40 minutes in, and it finally started to understand that in order to walk, you need to keep your balance. One hour, and it's finally able to walk longer distances without falling. It is still really clumsy though, so I'm just gonna show you the results after two hours. After two hours of training, it runs significantly smoother and faster than before, and it's even able to reach the first obstacle. And now it's dead. As you saw, it doesn't know what an obstacle is, or what the fuck to do with it, but it will figure it out with a couple of hours more of training. I'm not really sure if it passed 9 hours or 10 hours, but it's not important, I'm just gonna show you how it looks. Now the agent understands that the best way to keep moving is to jump over the obstacles. Unfortunately, it's not able to achieve the checkpoint at the end of the course. And even after two more hours of training, it is still not able to do it. But it has a beautiful form, I mean, look at that. Perfect. I think the reason it's because it goes so fast after the previous obstacle that it can't cope with the height of the next obstacle. I have a lot of options to solve this problem, like adding new information to the agent, changing the speed of the limbs, or modifying the rate gas position. But to do that, I would need to restart the simulation, so I have a better idea. I'm just gonna move this last obstacle here a little bit to the right, and they should work. It's kinda cheating, but I don't care. I decided to train the agent for another couple of hours. And here, after 12 hours of training, and almost 30 days of studying, here is the final result. Core. 
苦しい戦いだった。Finally did it. This fucking piece of shit actually did it. And I'm actually quite surprised to be honest. It's really clumsy and stiff for now, but it's good progress if you ask me. I have a ton of unused footage because of this project, but it was really fun to make, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.